Previously on the NES Pursuit. We are going game hunting with someone on Wednesday. Let me tell you who it is. His name is... Today is an extra special day for us here on our show. We're meeting up with two YouTubers, one we've met before and hang out with quite often now, but the other we've never met in person. We're super excited. Let's see who it is. I'm Chris. I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And we're at Frank and Sons, and we're gonna go game hunt. Let's go. Oh yeah, now it's not tame. This is Night Trap right here. amazing it is known to be uh, kind of in charge of the FCC ratings what started it I know some people say Mortal Kombat might be it but this is also it. it's a uh, very very risky for back then from drug deals to cheating to nudity so cool game I kind of want it but I don't have $69 to pay but very cool good to see you. this place is awesome I'm like super excited today tonight tonight so as we're walking around here at Frankensons, we run across a game that's pretty expensive and very highly desired. So let's see how we do with this. How much? Uh, how much is the Panzer Dragoon Saga? Uh, we're looking at Panzer Dragoon Saga. Super expensive. We're finding out the price. 150. 150? I'd pick it up for 150. I already have a copy of that. 150. You're not gonna slap me, though, sucker. Ricky, pull out your pesos. <laughs> they don't take pesos here, so I can't buy anything. <laughs> so the price wasn't that bad, but it wasn't for us. We don't have a lot of money, and we're not resellers, so we're not gonna make any money off it. So we passed. Secret of Mana, Illusion of Gaia, and. Uh, Alpha Mission by SNK. Actually not a bad shoot 'em up for the Nintendo. I picked it up a while ago. It's pretty good. Uh, Game Boy printer. Uh, we did just get one for free from that guy Sean at uh, that resale store in Mission Viejo. You guys can have this one as a gift. What? Ooh, are you serious? Yeah. So we don't need one now, so thank you Sean if you're seeing, but that is what is it? really awesome. That is like it's extremely cool. We're super excited about it. This is a sequel to a Yeah, I have. It's awesome. It's honestly getting so hot now. I really? love it. Like blue fire yeah. yeah. This is a sequel. I love those headphones. Do you still have yours? Good call, Sean. As we're hanging out at this place looking for some games, we're approached by a group of guys who said they watch all of our shows. It's really cool to meet up with guys in the community, even though they thought Chris was 8-Bit Eric. Hey guys, what's up? This is 8-Bit Eric. What pin is that, Ricky? N64 and Capcom. Oh, I like the Capcom oh, one. Capcom! Oh, Sega one is cool. Chris, I found yours. Okay, man. Man, look at they have a Ness hat right behind you. Seriously, will you wear this? I'm like, Pikachu, use and Thunder, Smash! This guy. How much? Oh, this guy too. Eight bucks? Yeah. like, well, like, you want to get with that one? <laughs> Your call, Ricky. Six, seven. What's Ricky gonna do? I really want all the yeah. Ricky, did you get that red control? <laughs> no. Why not? Ricky didn't know. even ask him. He said eight bucks and Ricky didn't even ask him to go cheaper. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Winner in April. <laughs> Somebody told me that the original voice for 
Shredder was the dad from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So that's true. Right? That, that, yeah, that, that, that's that's true. true. There you go. That's, right. that's awesome. Did you know that's that? that? The original voice of Shredder was the uh, the dad in uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Uncle Phil. That's what I heard too. You heard it too? I'm so, pretty sure. Don't you know how to say please? Yeah, you can't go wrong with the buck. That's a good rule right there of thumb. I think last time I came here that you guys had like bubble bobble too or something. Yeah. yeah. And Kirby, right? Dude, Super Mario now we're at a shop that has tons and tons of Nintendo stuff only. It's like a little piece of heaven for Ricky and I. Are you overwhelmed, Ricky? There's so much stuff here. I just don't know what to get. Seriously. I want more money. Too many options. Babe, I want more money. What's Girl, girl like Ghost Lion? What? Yeah, what is Ghost Lion? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that a big I comparison. Yeah. <clears throat> no, no. Looks like you got Dragon Warrior type. Yeah, yeah that looks Zelda. like yeah, totally Dragon Warrior. Ghost Lion. Never. Uh, it's a real game. Never tried it. Well, it's a later game. So I like the Dragon Warrior. Farrah Fawcett and Super Siegfried and Roy. That's from uh, right there. Nine Two Zero or uh, from um, <laughs> Luke Perry. No. <laughs> yeah, Luke Perry with his hair gone. <laughs> No, no, what's the other show that was like Nero 2 and then it came out? Bad place? Place? No, Mer Rose Place. No, Mer Rose Place. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> So I'm here at this place minding my own business looking at games when the guys play a trick on me and it doesn't seem like something John and Chris would do, so I was a little sad. Where? I don't know where it is. Oh, what? <laughs> jerk. <laughs> Dude, you guys, my heart's racing. What well, happened? Uh, they freaking anymore? told me there was a little Samson over here somewhere, and I started walking over here all whisper like. Did you know? Really? You're freaking done. All right. Melbourne, Dodongo, you're not going to work for us. We don't pay anything. We're poor. Freaking jerks. I hate you guys. I'm a man. I promise. Oh, man. So as we're walking into this next door, a guy walked in right before us with tons of box Nintendo games. We missed him by a few seconds. It's every collector's worst nightmare for timing. Yeah. Were these yours? Like, yeah. Wow. When you were a kid? Yeah. Dang, that's pretty cool. My parents always made me keep most of them in the box. They made you. Yeah. Well, how mean. <laughs> Man, I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that hurts someone like us. Actually, in the episode that's gonna post, or a week ago technically, I talked about this. How I wanna wait outside of Goodwills and be like, hey, 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 I'll pay you for this stuff. I'll give you decent money for this. Hey, 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 hey. So, hey, 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 hey. This hey. hurts my stomach, honestly. My stomach. Yeah. So here we walk into another game store where the employee and his son both watch our show again and we're getting blown away by the community. I don't even know what to say about this except thank you and we appreciate it. Oh, oh thank what? you. Get out of here. Yeah. Hey, thank you, buddy. No problem. I appreciate that. Okay. Go ahead. What, what's your name? Lewis. Lewis. Lewis, Lewis right here. Nice guy. Thank you, Lewis. And Lewis and his son back here hanging Jacob. out too. Jacob. Jacob, thank you guys. We're oh, look at that. You're an artist. This nice. is amazing. This is very cool. So I know how I'm eating every morning for the rest of my life with this on my lap. So thank you. Hey, I appreciate that so much, buddy. Thank okay. you. So I picked up uh, Rap Jam, and Aaron, who's in this? Queen Latifah, LL Cool J. It is like it's dude. It's up there with Shaq Fu. <laughs> yeah. Up there. Up there. I also picked up uh, this beast of a thing. I also picked up this beast of a thing. Pay ten bucks for it. Comes with the Game Boy. Yeah, that is awesome. And he's doing this for free as well. Another Game Boy, so basically five bucks each. Yeah, John killed it, and that's the same guy who gave us this. And that is nice. I mean, if you look right there, that is not something that people give away. Yeah, give away much from their shop, so we're like yeah. super stoked. The people in the gaming community are some of the nicest people I've ever met. I've been involved in other communities and a lot of people aren't near this generous, so. Mind blown. Oh, we gotta show this to Ricky. Check this out. 
Now, that day was one of those days Ricky and I can look back on forever and say, that was one of the funnest days we've ever had game hunting. And it wasn't just because of the game hunting, but because of the good times we had with John and Chris. We wish we could do this more often, but we all have real lives to live, so we're thankful for the time that we did get together. But now it's time to say goodbye. So that is the end of our trip to Frankenstein. Chris, Chris looks like he doesn't care. But uh, it was fun hanging out with John. I'm sure all of you guys know his channel, Game Straighty One, and uh, Chris from NES Complex. If you guys don't know either of the channels, check them out. I highly doubt you don't know, but it was fun hanging around with them too. Yeah, this you guys got recognized by them. Whatever. Hey, so we all did. So that was fun. We're, it just shows. Ah, oh, see. Oh, oh, oh. It just. Oh. It just shows how cool it can be. I had this coming. I deserve this for the longest time. That was hard I will hang, hang my head in shame. We're leaving. Goodbye. Peace. Later. Oh boy. Kiss him. And if you're new to our videos, as we say, hey, this is the end of the video where we like to bring you guys in, show you guys what we got in a little more personal level. So it's time to get personal with us. <laughs> Yay! Everything you've ever dreamed of. And as always, if you watch, you'll see that um, Ricky goes first. I'll start off with, I uh, actually bought this from a guy from work. It came in a GameCube bundle. So, it was Zelda Wind Waker and Zelda Twilight Princess. My goodness. Good Which is, games. it's funny because t they're both like the complete opposites of um, graphics. Wind Waker is like very kiddish and Twilight Princess, if you've seen the graphics, are very adult theme and stuff. I, I really love Twilight, honestly. I think it's both cool graphics. I also yeah. enjoy games that have like kiddish graphics too, so. I think it's just because I played this one with my kid when he was like, there you go. So small. So, so small. Wish I had the GameCube one though. I'm going for that one next. And then this one came with that GameCube pile as well. I've never played this game, but I've heard so many good yeah, things. So, Skies of Arcadia. Skies. Arcade. Legends. Which we honestly, you guys can admit, we don't know much about. Well, we do know it's a valued item and it's more people go after it a lot. Sweet. We don't know much about it at all, so... Sweet yeah. RPG, that's all I heard. Yeah, definitely let us know. I know you guys will. You guys always come through. And Yeah, and no, it started on Dreamcast, so... I, I didn't sweet. know that. How dreamy! Oh. I love my retro stuff, so... <laughs> yeah, dude. Let's, let's go Pest Terminator. It was actually... I picked it up at uh, Fat Collectibles, but... Man, I was expecting Hammering Harry with that hammer. Smash! Smash! It's not like Hammering Harry. It's okay. Definitely not like Hammering Harry. I had this when I was a kid. I actually owned it. Actually, uh, a guy that goes grew up went to our high school. His grandpa is the one who started like the Pest Terminator West Western Exterminator Western Exterminator, Western Exterminator business, and uh, this is their maybe their, their mascot. Yeah, he probably does have it like sealed or something. Yeah, the game's very it's boring. It's the smash. song is so repetitive. My goodness. Uh, yeah, a lot of NES games that don't that aren't big, you know, Color Dreams didn't work too hard on their games. What can sure, you so. expect though? Honestly, it's okay. It's okay. It was all right. You beat up like pests and stuff and mice. 
And then I actually picked this up when I was out with all the guys, Gamester. Oh yeah, we went Chris. with we went with Chris and John. By the way, that was freaking amazing. We didn't even mention that. That was that was awesome. Something that meant a lot to us going out with John and Chris. We hang Such out with cool guys. Yeah, we hang out with Chris a little bit more, but John yeah. we don't get to see too much because he's in Arizona. It was, so yeah, it was awesome to hang out with you guys. It was amazing. Except Seriously. Chris, we could have done without you, but <laughs> that's okay. I'm just kidding. That's not true. We love you. Just air. I got Dragon Warrior three. Yeah, which is expensive too. Yeah, and Ricky did get a good deal. We won't say what because I know a lot of people don't like when you give exact numbers because people see it and resell and all that. But um, it was that was such a good deal. I had to get it. And I don't remember playing that one. I re I know I did play Dragon Warrior the original a lot on the NES, which was originally Dragon Quest I think in Japan. But um, never played that one too much, so I don't know how the actual game goes as far as fun. I heard it's really good. Like. I guess Good. we'll have to find out by playing it. Oh darn. Well, I'm but. still stuck on Mario RPG, so after that. That's an amazing game. Mario RPG is one of the best. Okay, my stuff. The first thing I will talk about, F-Zero. Did someone, someone say, say Mario, Mario Party, Party again? again? Wait. Nobody said Mario Party. For Super Nintendo. Ooh, good. Uh, you guys all pretty much know about it. It's a racing game, uh, futuristic. And um, the main thing I re remember when I was a kid is like Mode 7 racing the whole time, which was pretty uh, ingenuitive, intuitive. Ingenuity? You guys will tell us. We're stupid. But yeah, it's like that. Great music. That's good. Second thing I got, don't judge. 10 yard fight for a dollar. And I know it is a terrible uh, sports game on the NES. But I played it a lot when I was a kid, so it's kind of memorable to me. I actually think I played it more than Tech Mobile. I know it's not better. I enjoy Tech Mobile better. But um, I know when you run, or there's no music, I don't think, and it's like. <laughs> I'm serious. I think that's what it does. So. Hey, black box. I love black box stuff. Yeah, even though I'm I don't working have, on my stuff. Even though I don't have the box. And nope. uh, you know, we did get a bunch of stuff from a guy named Super Nintendo Zach, which was an amazing box. So Honestly. thank you very much. Thanks, Zach. Seriously, I sent you a personal message and did an Instagram thing and all that. But um, one of the things that stood out to me is another. Is that a Color Dreams game? Was I not right when I said Pest Terminator was Color Dreams? You no, it is. You're okay, right. that was correct. This is also Color Dreams Raid 2020, which if you guys have played, um, it's. Terrible. It's definitely worse than Pest Terminator. You're like a cyberpunk futuristic cool. guy. Well, it's funny, like people are like dealing like drugs and your mission is to like literally shoot them in the face and kill them. So I guess you get death penalty automatic for dealing drugs. But hey man, you want some of that sweet black manta? Unacceptable! It's a it's not a good game at all, but it's I love it because it is blue. It, just like that one. But so, it sounds so awesome. How could it it looks that? really cool too. The cover art's really awesome on it. I don't know if it'll zoom in on that, but uh the cover art's awesome on this. So Super Nintendo Zach, thank you very much, and thank you Thanks, to everyone man. who has sent us stuff. Super Nintendo controller in box. Um I just wanted to show it to you guys because it's in the box and it's cool to get these. Just because it's stuff that, you know, in the box. In the box. In the box is always cool. Nothing special, licensed Nintendo controller, but Super Nintendo, one of the most comfortable controllers ever, maybe. I do love Street Fighter on Super Nintendo. It's really comfortable, I'll be honest. Hey, and the last thing, pretty awesome. Actually, very awesome. The guy, oh, I think it was cool. Luis and Jacob, I think was their names. He gave us this TV tray, which you guys got to see in the video. Hopefully, you guys can see that while I talk. It's really cool, you guys. It had a price tag on it for 85 bucks, and I don't think this is something a lot of people would give away. Yeah, give away. He just happened to be someone who watched our show and really awesome. enjoyed us. So we thank him very much for thank that. Thank you, man. And I can't wait to eat my Lucky Charms on this every morning. Or my Mario cereal. Wasn't there Mario cereal? There was Mario. There was actually Zelda cereal as well. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Psh, I miss those days. But that's all we got. We don't have anything else. We um, had a great week, though. It was super oh, fun. good. It was a freaking awesome week. We thank you guys. Um, we thank you guys again for being a part of this community with us. It just shocks me every time I really do look back at it. I'm like, dang, we're being supported big time. Yeah. So some of the videos are getting like 550 likes and stuff now. So that's awesome. Keep doing that, you guys. Like the video right now as I'm speaking. Bam! Click it. Did you miss it? Bam! Click it again. Bam! Bam! Yeah, click that. Subscribe. No! Yeah, everyone's unsubscribing. Turn it back! So hey, uh, we appreciate that. Comment, Ricky's the guy that responds because I'm always editing. I get respond here and there, a little one or two, but Ricky's the commentor. And um, subscribe if you don't. Uh, we're here every week and we uh, act stupid on camera successfully every week. <laughs> so that's what we do best, is be stupid. And oh! Hey, thanks to DX2929 for these cool oh, yeah. curler beads that he sent us. He did a whole bunch of these, so we wanted to say thank you. His name's Roger. He's a Roger. He's a cool guy.
sorry, his YouTube channel is ex 2929 Yeah, that's it, you guys. So we'll see you next week because you're coming back no matter what. Or we'll come to your house personally and double slap you. So, <laughs> adios, senoritas. <laughs>